Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you the animation. So first of all, what is the animation? Uh, in the animation you can specify different styles, background colors or all these things whatever you want to define. So then the animation allows to change these styles gradually or in other words you can see the effect of changing the styles the colors or in other words you can apply the different colors on a diff and then one by one you can change these colors by using the anima animation and here I have created this div and here is its render form so now here I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna create the animation and then I'm gonna specify the style in that animation and then I will use that animation here in this div first of all we have to create the animation first of all write the key frames here we have to write keyframes and then we have to write the name of the uh, animation here I'm gonna write test you can write any name and then in these parentheses you have to write all the styles of the CSS that you want to include in that animation here first of all you have to specify the point from where you want to apply the style when the animation is start you are able to apply a different style and when the animation is end you are able to apply the different style or in other words uh, when the animation is at the zero stage so this style will be applied and if the animation is at the final stage so this animation is applied and if the animation is 50% so what style is applied so now here first of all this is the starting point we have to write from so from is the point where the animation is start and here I'm gonna write the background color at the start the background color is changed to yellow and then we have to write the final point here I'm gonna write 2 2 is the final here I'm gonna write background color here is the purple so now when the animation is start so it is start from this line from so this background color is apply on that element and then when the animation is end so this background color will be apply so now animation is ready and now I'm gonna apply this animation here on the div so first of all how to apply that animation it is just like a transition and we have to specify the name of the animation duration and the delay so now here I'm gonna specify animation name here is the animation name here I'm gonna write test is the animation name and then here we have to define the animation duration for what minutes or the seconds the animation is going to be run so here we have to define animation duration here I'm gonna write two seconds and then we have to write the animation delay before the animation is start we have to specify the minutes or the second uh, to stop the animation before it's starting or it is just a, like a delay or wait for wait before the running and here I'm gonna specify delay here I'm gonna add the delay of one second and now the animation is ready and now let's check it out and here I'm gonna reload it so now it is the delay of the one second and here you see that here I'm gonna reload it delay one second and yellow color is the starting point and the purple color is the final point and then again the red red color is applied so now here I want to tell you something we are able to apply only two styles here only first is in the from and the second is in the two so that's wrong we are able to apply the different styles at the different point when the animation is on the 0% and then the animation is on the uh, 20% 15% 30% so here I'm gonna specify when the animation is 0% it is not started so this style will be applied when the animation is 25% so this style the color background color is this 
and you can also apply any style border padding width height position all the css styles and you can apply this animation on all the html elements and here i'm going to increase it so when the animation is 50 percent its color is become green here is and when the animation is 75 percent so its color is become blue and here is the final color i'm gonna apply parrot black here is 100 percent when the animation is 100 percent so this black color will be applied and now let's render it one second delay and here you see that all the colors are applied so this is the animation and it is too fast you can increase its duration so it is now slowly slowly execute here you see that another animation function so here is animation play state you can stop or play the animation here is play and here we have to write state and here is this and if we apply paused so now animation is stop it's not running here you see that it is still stop one second delay is over and if we apply running so now it start to running and the next function is the animation timing function by applying the animation timing function you can apply the you can give the values linear ease in ease out ease in out so these values are also present in the transition and you have already know what's the function of the linear it just uh, run the animation smoothly it have not any style when we give the value is in so at the start the animation is slowly execute and the rest of all the animation is fastly execute and here we have to write timing and here is the function and first of all here i'm going to apply linear and it is just a simple timing function it is just linear smoothly smoothly execute here i'm going to reduce this two seconds so now if we write ease in so now at the start the animation is execute smoothly slowly here it is and if we write is out you can understand it and here I'm gonna create uh, some other styles in the animations uh, so here I'm gonna change the position here I'm gonna give it position relative to the div so now let's change the color and the position of the div and here I am going to give the left and the top position here at the start the left is 0 pixel and here is the top is also 0 pixel and now I am going to copy these things from here and here it is so now the left is 200 pixel and here I am going to give top is also 200 pixel here is and now here I'm gonna give the left is 0 pixel and here is 200 pixel and now here I'm gonna make it 0 0 pixel at the end and now let's run it here it is you can see that this animation is applied and here you see that this is just a simple but you can also change its direction by giving another function that is animation direction here I'm gonna choose the animation direction make it direction and you can give 
the reverse here is the reverse and you can also give the alternative here you can see that it is in the reverse direction and if we give the alternative and here is the alternative here why it is not applying because here we have to give alternate and let's check it so here this is the alternate and it's just like a reverse but here is another value is alternate reverse here is the alternate reverse and now here it is this is the alternate reverse so why it is not applying because we have to give the animation iteration count we have to repeat the animation so then this alternate reverse will be applied here we have to write animation iteration count here I'm going to remove it and write animation iteration count here is the count and here I'm going to write 3 so now it will be applied so now animation is going to be repeat for the three times here you see that this is the alternate reverse and thank you for watching this video if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion in the course I will help you as much as I can see you in the next lecture